Hey guys, come at you with a new giveaway this week, and this week, or actually this weekend, is Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, where we honor those who have served our country, and not to diminish their service in any way, or make light of it, but I thought I'd give away a red, white, and blue spinner set, and I've dug through all my stuff, and I found these three mini-me spinners. And I thought, well, shoot, why not go ahead and give away three of the big ones, too, so you can, you can get a compar size comparison, and you can see, or <laughs> you can show off to your friends that you have, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> seven different spinners. Most likely, a couple of them, they're not going to have, and you'll be uniquely uh, situated to show them your spinners, that they can be envious and want to trade you, or try to figure out some way of getting them off your hands. <laughs> so... I just wanted to give you a little size comparison here. My my giveaway is a standard giveaway that I always that I've been doing so far for the past few weeks. I go to http colon slash slash frankensleeve dot com and I'll put that in a in a uh, in a kind of a banner across the top there so it'll be easy to find and it'll be clickable in the description box below the video or if you see this on Facebook, it'll be in the in the post above the video. It'll also be clickable, I believe. I haven't looked at that in a while, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's clickable. But that's the two places I post my videos so that I uh, give as many people as possible a chance to enter the contest. And just want to kind of give you the uh, lowdown on these. These are really nice spinners, in my opinion, for your for generic spinners. They come in these packages like this. They all come in packages like this. As, as far as I can tell, it's, you know, it's a pretty standard package. If you compare it to, say, the spinner package I got at my market basket. See, this one is just blue. It's got the same pattern along the bottom. Let me put these back down. And I want to put them back down in order so I don't... <laughs> so it stays consistent. Hope you like, hope you don't mind. But basically, you, you can see they're the same package as the uh, market basket spinner. Just one's blue, one's white, and you know they may, they changed this up a little bit to make it fancier. Uh, it's a little bit glossy, but you can see this is the same old packaging from from uh, the manufacturer that comes from almost any manufacturer. And you can see the difference in the quality of the spinners. Real easy because this one has ball bearings in the outer lobes, which to me indicates a higher quality spinner because they spent extra money to pay for these bearings. Versus these, which are just steel inserts. These steel inserts, you know, probably don't cost a quarter of a penny a piece. And that tells me they spent very little money on the bearing in the center. And it wasn't a bad bearing, but it wasn't a decent bearing either. Not for, well, it's, okay, it's an okay spinner for someone who just wants to try a spinner out. You know, or they really don't care. They, <laughs> they just want something, a spinner, period. So, yeah, let me put that out of the way. <laughs> I'm droning on too long. But... This one definitely has a different, decent spin time on it. I mean, it's not going to be a monster spin time, but, you know, it spins nice. It spins smooth. It's probably going to spin for a minute or so. All these are like this. they got nice finger pads on them, so it's easy to do tricks. I mean, that one's just bouncing on the side of my finger, so that's not bad. Got these little bitty mini-me spinners. These are a little bit louder, but it's, since they're much smaller... They're, they're harder to engineer. They require smaller bearings. They require the weight to be just right because the uh, the smaller the spinner, the, the tougher it is to make it spin for a long time. So let me spin these up. Hope you can see that. Uh, my my, uh, <laughs> my uh, phone camera I'm using for this to record these is actually covered up with a piece of paper so that I can reflect the lights off of it and back down to get rid of as many shadows as possible. That's a buddy of mine, he's a semi-professional photographer. He taught me how to do this, and it's, I'm still working on it. I really hate the fact my tripod legs are in the in the frame. Y'all may not even notice or care, <laughs> but it's one of those little details that I'm kind of obsessive compulsive over. Just like I couldn't make this review on time because I could not figure out exactly what I wanted to give away. I've got a lot of spinners uh, from samples from manufacturers, but. I wasn't exactly sure what to do, and I got up at 4.30 a.m. to do this video, 4.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, 
and I was going to give away a different spinner, a plain spinner. It, was, I, it wasn't good enough, but <laughs> that's why I was racking my brain trying to figure out what to do. So all of a sudden it hit me. It's Memorial Day weekend. Why not do a Memorial Day themed spinner? But I was trying to figure out how to do a spinner giveaway in such a way that it was not disrespectful to our veterans and the people who are currently serving, the U.S. Armed Forces, or basically anybody serving in any military force anywhere. So hopefully this is not offensive to anybody. Uh, this is not one. This is not a you know a gimmicky thing. It's not. Uh, well, basically it's just meant to be respectful. Not. <laughs> it's not to meant to offend anyone. Uh, hopefully this is just something fun for y'all. Uh, got this red, white, and blue flag spinner. Uh, this one is very, very popular. I've seen a lot of kids at the flea market, my local flea market, carrying these around. For uh, I guess they, it never occurred to me that there would be a demand for a uh, an American flag spinner, but apparently there is. <laughs> and uh, this is my Vider Rocks. This is my one of my first attempts at making a Vider Rock. If you have not heard of Vider Rocks yet, Basically, it's a scavenger hunt in the city of Vider, Texas, which you can do yourself. You just have to build a, find some way of getting the word out that you're doing a rock hunt. And uh, this is just a piece of cheap rock that I bought at my local uh, nursery where they, they sell plants and windmills and all kinds of decorations. They also have big piles of rocks. I've got like 20 or 30 pieces of this for about 80 cents. And then I just started painting on it. I'm still experimenting. It's not working out well for me because the rock does absorb all the paint. I think I'm going to have to paint this white with a base coat first and then go back over it and redo this one. But that's one of my first attempts. And I found this old dagger. This is a, I'm assuming this is a World War II dagger. Uh, it may not be a dagger, but it's a combination of uh, knife and bayonet. Uh, you can see the handle's kind of rotting away a bit. Uh, I didn't want to do anything, anything to this one to recondition it or anything like that. It's kind of cool the way it is. And uh, so, yeah, I thought it was a nice uh, piece to go on my thing. This here is actually a piece of petrified wood that I got at the same location where I got the Vida Rocks. They had some really beautiful petrified wood. I'll show you this guy. I mean, this guy here was like 50 cents. The piece I wanted weighed several hundred pounds. It would have cost several hundred dollars, several hundred dollars, but man, it was cool. It was like four, four feet across and almost a foot thick, and it was a huge petrified tree chunk. But man, it was nice. If I could have picked it up and put it in my car, it's like it probably was, would have squashed my springs in the back of my car if I had, uh, if I had been able to purchase it. But I got no place to put it. <laughs> Literally, my house—it's it, out of proportion for my house. It's. It was huge, monstrous. Well, monstrous. I mean, it's, it was. It was almost. It was a good. It would have made a huge. Uh, I'm sorry. It would have made a good coffee table size thing. <laughs> and I'm sporting my my New York brim right here because my hair is all screwed up. <laughs> and you might see some blood on me because I did shave right before recording this. And hey, I don't know if you noticed this or not. My fingernails are cut. That's one of the drawbacks or improvements I have to make by being on camera now. I have to shave every time. I've, at least I feel like I have to shave every time. I have to have my hair right or cover it up or something to be on camera. Before, you know, I, before I just, I could wear my plain old white shirts, my white t-shirts if I wanted to and wear my pajama pants on, on camera. But now I have to have something that looks decent, like my Spider-Man shirt here. So yeah, hope you enjoy this giveaway. You're going to get a total, let's see, of seven spinners and TV low size comparison here again. There is the normal size spinner. This is your average size plastic spinner. Then you have the, I call them the micro mini me spinners, which are made for smaller hands, which are really good for smaller hands, I should say, because they can kids under seven can spin them like that and it won't hit that webbing in their hand so a lot of little kids especially a lot of especially little girls like these a lot and a lot of ladies like these a lot because grown women or teenage girls have smaller hands so these come in really handy and then finally as a bonus spinner get these out. 
scoop these back in camera. As a bonus spinner, you will get this red, white, and blue American flag spinner. So I hope you enjoy this giveaway. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Simply go to http colon slash slash frankensleeve.com, enter your name and email address, and as a bonus entry, you can watch the video of my last review and get a bonus entry into the contest. <laughs> or, you know, I was actually thinking, I'm not sure exactly what the last review I did was, but basically, for a second entry, there's a video to watch. <laughs> you watch the video, you get another free entry. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Good luck to you all, and I hope you enjoy the Memorial Day weekend. And I'll talk to you later.